Okay guys, we're just gonna take some time to look over our finalist decks, uh, the ones that did not get banned. Snifix banned Warlocks Guildsworn, and Warlock banned Snifex's Battle Mage. So this is the Empire list, you can tell. It's uh, quite aggro, uh, pretty much on the end. You have some reach, a uh, couple of cool one ofs like Giant Slaughterfish, which we saw against, uh, I believe it was Throne Beetle. Like this card went off really well. Um, kind of giving off vibes of a sort of animal list, kind of like that zoo deck with the green and purple and a lot of the really uh, useful animals in here like Young Mammoth, Slinking Jackals, and you know, of course, you have all the crabs for Old Salty's Assault. So, really enjoyable list. Next is Dagoth. It looks like a pretty typical mid Dagoth list. Uh, you know, also has some reach, some cool possible unstoppable rage combos. You got your Belligerent Giants, Cradle Crush, your Alphix, Abner Tharn. Of course, you have to have the Hand of Dagoths. And, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite cards, <laughs> Temple Conjurer. Uh, just a whole bunch of solid cards that can get you a lot of value, like, pretty much instantly. And Sniffex's last list is a Redoran. It's almost, it's quite a bit like mine. Uh, less emphasis on stuff like the Crabs. Uh, he also has some weird one ofs like Siege Catapult, only one uh, East March Crusader, and running apprentice necromancers in here which is kind of one of the biggest uh, differences in mine but as you guys know I love aggro decks so this one is uh, Sniffex's and I'm sure it's gonna do really well against Warlock alright next up we have Warlock's Dagoth list and looks a little more aggro than what uh, Sniffex brought uh, he doesn't have so much on the top end like he's missing the uh, unstoppable rages and stuff like that and a lot more focus on the early creatures and there's still some kind of like mid-rangey things here uh, you know you have your uh, where can I find them you know no I'm wrong <laughs> this is just still pretty aggro just like some reach on the top end with cliff racers underworld vigilantes uh, Razumdar and Uncano that's just kind of all reach and then, you know, a healthy amount of prophecies that can give you some more damage, like lightning bolts, covenant plates, things like that. Next up is this Halalu. This one is definitely a little bit more mid rangey because you have things like the Wilds Incarnate, uh, Debilitate, Belligerent Giants, Cradle Crush Giants, uh, a little more fo uh, focus on some amount of removal, like uh, Piercing Javelin, and things that can also like help you remove things like, where is it, Dune Ripper. Cards like that. And Warlock's last list is his uh, Sorcerer. And, you know, I can't really tell if this is like a mid or a aggro Sorcerer. It's got some of the really just good, like really beefy uh, purple cards like Windcube Spell Sword, Your Young Mammoths, Blue Coast Trolls, and even things like Corrupted Shade that can be kind of annoying to remove. And just some, you know, three Bone Colossuses. Colossi, is that how you pronounce that? And just uh, some good top end things like Naha Gleave and Ankano. And uh, still enough uh, emphasis on the early game uh, with like about a little less than a third of the deck being uh, two costs or less. So yeah, this is the one that's been, uh, <laughs> I think usually this one's been uh, three wanting opponents. And also. Also, <laughs> very nice, uh, Sniffex said, let's say something for the trailer. So I'm just going to tack this in at the beginning before they start playing. He, he tells Warlock, it would be nice for you to win uh, the last tournament in your retirement month, but you're playing against me. Because <laughs> uh, Warlock is a streamer. Um, you know, if you're Russian, you'll be able to understand him. <laughs> but uh, I'm not able to. But he also messaged me, he said, uh, pretty much the same thing here. He's like, haha, thank you. Uh, the main thing was for me to take part. This is a cool tournament with good rules. So, hey, thanks Warlock for that. But yeah, Warlock just likes to support people's tournaments. Uh, you know, he played in Schwartz. He's probably played in a few others. Uh, he's played against K-Fluffy 
probably like in at least three tournaments, <laughs> including this one. So, you know, it was nice to have Warlock here, even though he completely demolished all of his competition. <laughs> but yep, with that, we're going to get right into the game. Okay. We've gone in game one here against Warlock and Sniffex. This might be handy. Warlock is opening up with the Warlock, or the <laughs> Sorcerer deck that we just went over. And Sniffex is opening up with his Empire. It'd be really exciting to see how this one turns out. Uh, these are both pretty aggressive lists. And I think both players do have, like, you know, Sniffex can go a little bit wide with things like Old Salty and Soul. So it'll be interesting to see how Warlock is going to be able to try to deal with that. He does have things like Bone Colossus that can kind of help. Alright, so he goes for the Shackle on the Young Mammoth. It's a really good play, and it kind of. It's gonna slow down Sniffex quite a bit. Ooh, because he instantly got a bricked hand. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Warlock here still has quite a few answers. Sniffex is probably gonna have to bring out uh, Old Salty's Assault. I would imagine that's probably like the best play for him. Goes for Soul Tear. Probably knows that it might be a while before uh, Warlock can even play Nocreen. Whereas Sniffex instantly like has like even on the next turn he can play Soul Tear and then uh, revive something, even one of these crabs. I don't see that happening immediately because now he ha Sniffex has a lot more options now for flooding the board at least. But he is going to have to deal with a 5-5 Young Mammoth yet again. Could even see him just flat out ignore it. It's a Wily Kiva. Okay, pit line's good. I feel like Warlock is probably going to use a Steel Dagger to get like more of a valuable trade off of that. Because that's uh, Sniffex's biggest attacker. Yeah, that's what we're going to see. And then probably the Young Mammoth trade with the Goat, just to get a little bit of breaking damage in and still clear off his board. Probably see when keep Spell Sword come down in the Shadow Lane, too. Or the Field Lane, if he wants to, yeah, keep uh, controlling that. And Shadow Shift is kind of important here. Now Sniffex can take off 5 damage. And it's interesting because Sniffex hasn't broken the rune, but they've still been keeping up pretty well. The card advantage is definitely in Sniffex's hands right now. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that he drew an edict. That's uh, that is uh, quite a card to draw immediately, and that is definitely gonna get silenced. Uh, the last thing Warlock wants is for him to be drawing more cards. So I think we'll definitely see that. He might have to think about it a little bit more. But I think even still. Because uh, like what else can come down next turn? Like, the uh, Fervors can start coming down. I think we can see that. So even on the next turn, a Shadow Fen Priest can come in, along with a Blue Coast Troll. And that'll still be like a pretty, uh, like, that'll give uh, Warlock a lot of momentum going into the last couple turns here. At least what I assume are going to be the last couple turns. You never know when you have uh, players like this. A uh, Giant Slaughterfish can be like really scary. That's at the start of every turn and that's just like a ton of reach right there it's like four six seven eight I have many important things on my mind oh uh, <laughs> the warlock takes it with Ancana I kind of missed that I was so focused on the slaughterfish but good games warlock we'll update the bracket here 
Warlock is up one. Okay, start of game two. Sniffex has switched over to his uh, Dagoth list. I believe this was the more mid rangey one. I may be wrong. <laughs> I may have the two uh, players' uh, Dagoth list completely mixed up. Alright, so it opens up with another all the law the assassin. Yeah, I was gonna say we're definitely gonna see Warcrafter, but Warlock might just negate it. Definitely see that happening. See, every time I say that, Warlock just ends up uh, usually just shackling whatever, because he usually also has a freaking <laughs> harpy in hand at the same time. But now I think we're definitely going to see the negation. And it will be interesting if Warlock uh, can draw another Silence. Then Sniffix will only be able to really get good value out of one of the Hand of Dagoths. I find that interesting. This should help. Yeah, okay, so then Warlock's gonna silence that. I thought he would silence his own, uh. I thought he would silence the Grub Shade so he wouldn't die. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're both pointing that out like, hey, like, he could have kept five damage on the board. And. I mean, Sniffex. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, Sniffex doesn't know, but, uh. Hannah Dagoth is gonna require like a really like costly response from Warlock. Now that's all he could do. Well, I forgot he had the ring, but still, <laughs> y'all know what I mean. I think yeah, the Cradle Crush is definitely better than the Hannah Dagoth. Uh, Hannah Dayoth starts draining at this point, the Sniffex is not going to get any new cards anytime soon. So we'll probably see Daggerfall Mage and then Corner Club Gambler, probably like in the Shadow Lane. And then he stitched the Steel Dagger. And yeah, Warlock is not going to be able to deal with the card draw here. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Now, I've never. Uh, Sniffex has never drawn the Pierce in Twilight, I don't think, in any of his matchups. Uh, that might have been like a weird one of. I think the Dagoth list also got banned uh, quite a few times. So, it'll be interesting to see if he plays it, what he's going to pick. I would imagine something like Lightning Bolt or the Shadowfen Priest. Those would be like probably my two highest uh, options. Well, I do kind of like the Piercing Twilight in the field lane. Okay, yeah, uh, gets rid of the Lightning Bolt, banishes those. And Warlock has won a few games with uh, finishing it off with a Lightning Bolt. So that could end up mattering for Warlock quite a bit. I think draws kind of a. Uh, kind of sucks when you're at this point in the game when you kind of need your bigger stuff to come in, but it's just not. So we'll probably see maybe like a tome, get some card draw, trade this in, and then Leaf Lurker. Oh, 
Okay, and then he shackles his ass. So I see, I see what he's gonna go for here. Uh, Wrath of Sithis, I mean, it's not useless. But it's probably a little bit past the point Fine. where it could have been like really great. Cause yeah, I've, I think Sniffex still has like all the options to deal with all that. You can just curse the uh, Wrath of Sithis and then be further it. The forest is my cloak. All right, he starts building up his board. I smell the stench. We're also gonna try to hope that Sniffex doesn't have a some kind of option. Which luckily he didn't get one. Bone Claws is kind of a big deal. It at least help Warlock a little bit. Uh, and then a young mammoth. Ooh, Garnite coming down is kind of rough. It looks like uh, this is going to be uh, Sniffex's game here, pretty much. Probably going to play young mammoth, I would assume. Oh no, okay, yeah, ring out that. But uh, Sniffex still has it. Unless uh, Warlock draws a really good prophecy. Obviously, like now he doesn't have the lightning bolts. So, yeah, Sniffex didn't have to worry about just losing one of the creatures to something like that. But Sniffex takes it. They are now one and one. Here we go. It's a Dagoth mirror. Maybe I'll uh, <laughs> get some more uh, insight on. Okay, I think it was possibly Warlocks that was the more mid range one. I want to be an assassin, like Mario. Having a Hannah Dagoth in hand. It's uh, gonna be a really good option for Sniffex later. Especially if Warlock decides to go quite aggressive. And. Ooh. <laughs> Sniffex can bounce that. And, you know, that, that's still important. Because, like, even though Warlock may have the option to just replay it, it's probably not a good idea. And Sniffex is sitting on two lightning bolts. That's really going to screw up Warlock. He's just going to be ditching cards here. Approach and be recognized. Although 8 damage is still quite a bit, Sniffex is still going to deny the card draw. And it's going to put Warlock in a really awkward position. Probably won't see him play anything. Yeah, I guess he, he wasn't going to plan on playing anything until, uh, until that Shrieking Harpy came down. See, I wonder if Warlock is just going to try shackling or beefing uh, the Earthbone Spinner up. That I don't think it'll be enough. No, no, it actually won't. Like maybe Cloak will if you ring out Cloak, uh, then more of your stuff will survive, uh, at least Fingers of the Mountain, because now he's got a total of uh, 10 health, so Sniffex can make it to where there's only 3 damage on the board now. Let's see how Sniffex decides to play it. And I, I just think it's amazing, Warlock has done this much damage this fast, and like, just like the most like limited amount of cards because of the weird thing that happened with the corner well, the gambler there. Warlock probably knows that like <laughs> it's 
It's getting a little dicey here. You could do uh, deal seven damage, but then you have no cards. You have no options for whatever uh, Sniffex can put down. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Now Sniffix has no runes left. Like, so now all Warlock needs is like a lightning bolt on the next turn. And he can win. I keep and Sniffix won't really be able to play the Hannah Dagoth like immediately. And it's also going to depend on exactly like what Warlock is going to draw on the next turn. Because like, I think he's going to have to Lightning Bolt the Earthbone Spinner if he like wants to guarantee staying alive for another turn. It's probably debating between that and the Hannah Dagoth. Have you come to submit or come to die? Oh man, the this Warlock gets the extra damage that he needed. Really clutch draws there, Warlock. I mean, that came down to, like, exactly him getting, like, everything he needed every turn. Now Warlock is up. Two to one. We're starting game four. Sniffex switched to his Red Ren. This is his last one. Potentially the last game of the entire tournament. And uh, this is an okay hand. Uh, Dagoth can be kind of scary with the amount of options it has. But I think Sniffex will probably be able to still put up a good fight with you know, what he's got here. Goes ahead and takes that out. Sorry, yeah, I was gonna say we're probably gonna see Shrieking Harpy from Warlock. This might be handy. Uh, and the Crown Quartermaster. See, so, yeah, I feel like Sniffex is probably gonna play Marked Man. Maybe give. Okay. Maybe he's trying to bait Warlock into trading with this instead. And maybe he's just gonna play. Uh, Steel uh, Scimitar on the North Fire brand. Could see that happen. Sniffex starts uh, putting some kind of defense down. Warlock's probably going to Earthbone Spinner the uh, makeshift defenses. So that you way Warlock can start. Uh, actually, he might go. Yeah, Giant Snake. And you know, he can put another one down immediately on the next turn. And that can be pretty bad. Uh, Warlock, or if Sniffex wants to stop that from happening, he's going to have to play Thor of Revenge. And that's just going to have to get. Earthbone Spinnered. That's like really the only clean option that Warlock has. I guess he's risking taking the damage. Withered Hand Cultist is probably not the most useful thing in this matchup. I don't recall um, Sniffex having too much like in the form of uh, removal or anything like that. Uh, you know, he's, he's running things like Crusader's Assault, but you know, at, at this point, like now you can play it, and it's probably a little more justified, even though it might cost more. But I think we're definitely going to see the whole of House Carl. Alright, Sniffex starting to turn the heat up here. I believe we might see the other giant snake, if I'm being honest. Yeah. 
the giant snake is like a, just a really good option to slow this down. We must remain steadfast. Close ranks, let nothing through. So or clan captain is actually gonna be like really useful. Read my lips. Mouth This is kind of a hard one. Yeah, so now he'll be able to get rid of the guard and still draw a card. And then yeah, I think using uh, harmony on that. That definitely helps. It's gonna buy him some time. Of course, uh, Warlock is probably gonna try to buy it back with with the giant snake, sh reshackle this whole lane. Well, not reshackle, but you know, do the same thing he did before. Enjoy the next life, fool. It's probably gonna come down to can sniff X rebuild the board when Warlock starts dealing damage. Yeah, I think we're just going to see full, uh, like, lane clear. And then Warlock's just going to follow it up with his own cards. And now Sniffex does not have, like, any options here. Ooh, a Relentless Raider? That could be... That's a lot of damage. And with 9 magic, you can play 1, 2... Yeah, you can play... He can play almost his entire hand and deal like just an insane amount of damage. I can take a hit bait I think that's what we're here. gonna see. For the Ashkan. Enjoy the next life. <laughs> yeah, see I'm surprised we didn't see like the courier. You know we're probably gonna see it now. I come bearing gifts. Well, I probably wanted to make sure it was safe. And bam. Bam. <laughs> wow. Come do my um, maybe he's gonna get Mudcrab Merchant so he can search for something like insane here. Uh, is Cradle Crush even good? It could be, but not with the hand that you have. Clivia isn't really that great either. I think Warlock may have just won it. He does not have a way to deal with the Ashland Punisher. Like at all. A formidable display. Yeah, it looks like Sniffex is probably just gonna be like, well, don't have any options, so go ahead and take the championship. And I think Li <laughs> Warlock is gonna be contest. funny and do it with a lightning bolt. I want Warlock to do it with a lightning bolt. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. There you have it. Warlock takes it. He is our champion want to say thank you to everyone who participated you know we got some good representation we got a lot of high level players here just really good players and really good game so appreciate you guys all for taking part i hope to see you guys in the next one that i host and you know most importantly have an amazing day